Neymar Jr. recently signed for Al Halal in Saudi Arabia at just the age of 31. Last month, he tore his ACL, leading many to believe that his career may be over, having never fulfilled his true potential. But what if Neymar's career went a little differently? Today, I will be replaying the career of Neymar from FIFA 11 all the way to FC 24. Here he is in FIFA 11, only 17 years of age at the very start of his career with Santos. I'm going to be simulating every single season with him, keeping track of his stats, seeing what trophies he wins, all while comparing them to his real life stats every single season. Once we do get to the end of every season, I will leave whatever club Neymar is with, let the game simulate the transfer window, and see if Neymar moves. If he doesn't transfer clubs, for example, here, we will move over to FIFA 12 with him still at Santos. But if he does get a transfer, we're going to move him to that club at the beginning of FIFA 12 and continue his career from there. Let's Let's see if this time around we can crown the prince who never became king. Be sure to like and subscribe, ladies and gentlemen, and let's get into this. Here is Neymar again on this iconic old Santos side. Again, only 17 years old still, and yet almost 80 rated. So let's simulate this first season with Neymar at Santos, see what he wins. Sadly, in the Brazilian league this season, that's got to be said, Santos had a stinker to start off. Yet somehow this is actually an improvement. Santos finished eighth in real life. We lost in the quarterfinals of the Brazilian Cup as well, so sadly no trophies. And in FIFA 11, there is no way to see a player's individual stats across all competitions. But these are what Neymar's stats looked like at this point in his career. 101 appearances, 47 goals, and 25 assists. But from this point on, we'll be keeping track of Neymar's re-sim stats and comparing them to his real stats. So let me leave Santos, move to a different club. We are going to simulate this transfer window. I am going to search for Neymar. Has he left Santos already? And no, he hasn't. He's remained at Santos just like he did in real life. So off we go then to FIFA 12. So here is Neymar in FIFA 12, and look at the overall that's jumped all the way up to an 84. He uh, still hasn't quite got a face in the game yet, but I think next year he's good. Well, another season, let's see how this one gets on with Santos. An improvement on last season, Santos coming in fourth place, but again, no league title. Again, in the Brazilian Cup, we get dumped out as well, but this time in the semis. At the end of this season, we saw a haul of only 11 goals and four assists for Neymar, which, I mean compared to his real life stats this season. He got 24 goals and 10 assists this season in real life. So real life Neymar has actually outdone recent Neymar on this occasion, especially since this year was the year that he won the Copa Libertadores as well. But once again, we are going to leave Santos to another club. We are once again going to simulate another transfer window. Do we see Neymar make a move this time? We do see Neymar make a move. He's gone off to PSG. Wow, how fascinating is that? In real life, he stays at Santos for another season or two, then goes to Barcelona. In this one, he's off to France and joins PSG probably about seven or eight years early. Well then, we're going to continue Neymar's career with him at PSG as we move to FIFA 13. Here he is then in FIFA 13, now rocking the PSG kit. And he's finally got his face in the game as well. He leaves Santos for this PSG team with some big names in it. For example, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, of course. He also joined them this season. And speaking of Nords, by the way, maybe it's time we spoke about today's sponsor, NordVPN. NordVPN is the biggest VPN service in the world. It allows you to access all your content from all over the world and connect to thousands of different servers up to six devices. In fact, NordVPN has servers in over 60 countries. It provides security from ransomware, phishing, and other entities out to steal your data and information with its top tier encryption. And if you go to nordvpn.com forward slash the masterbugs, you'll be able to try it for free for 30 days. And if you sign up now for NordVPN, you'll get four months free plus 65% off. Again, just head to nordvpn.com forward slash the master bucks and sign up today. The link is in the description down below. Thank you again to NordVPN. And now let's get back into the video. How coincidental that the last recent career video we did with Edin Hazard, PSG was also the first team that he went to. So brand new team, brand new season. What can we accomplish with Neymar in his first season in France? Well, in the league, unfortunately, we fall short. In fact, 
We haven't really won a single trophy with Neymar in this re-sim so far. We won the Coupe Nationale. That is about it this season. Lackluster in the trophy so far, but Neymar's first season at PSG is a smashing hit in terms of individual stats. 28 goals and 11 assists. Hell yeah, that's nearly a 40 plus goal contribution season. Keeping pretty good pace with his numbers in real life at the moment as well. We're not going to bother with the transfer window seeing if he moves to another club. I mean, he's just gone to PSG. We'll do at least a minimum of two seasons with him. So on we push now with Neymar to FIFA 14. Now in FIFA 14 with Neymar at PSG. And I got to be honest with you, this team, it's almost a little too top heavy. We've got Levetsi. Of course, we've got Neymar. We've got Cavani now part of this PSG team. And Zlatan Ibrahimovic. That is a nutty attack, but we're asking a hell of a lot here from Matuidi and Thiago Motta. Hopefully, it's not too much. And hopefully, Neymar can maybe finally win his first significant trophy of this recent because it's it's taken some time. This was, of course, the season that he went to Barcelona, leaving Santos. So being at PSG, it's not really an upgrade, we'll put it that way. If he could have big European success in this team, then, well, that would change things. Well, for now, at least focusing on the league, we do have a game to play. We are one point up on San Etienne, and this might just possibly be Neymar's first league title. Neymar won five French titles in his career. Can we get started maybe with the first one here? Might Neymar even be the one to score the league winning goal? We'll see. He's going to get the game kicked off underway. Let's do this. Heavy one, that. Cut back in. Could be. And it is the first goal already! Zlatan is the one, assisted by Neymar. We're already off and underway. Oh, what a scoop. Oh, what a tackle, though. Yeah, get in there. Oh, I love that ball in. Oh, he's running the show. Ibrahimovic, the man tonight. Well, that's half time and we are cruising to the title at the moment. We do have a free kick, 28 yards, maybe scorable. Uh, we'll wait and see though. That's, oh, that's a little too high as well. Get into that box. Oh, the ball somehow got through and he's finally got that goal. Slat hand with the cross and somehow got through the bodies and somehow Neymar's able to get a stretch and get the contact, finally. He bags on the night he's going to win his first league title. And I reckon that's going to do it. The league has been sealed. It's been won on the final day. We will take the trophy, but again, we're not in this for French League One title. We are in this for the big ones, the Champions Leagues and whatnot, but we will still take this, no complaints at all. He wins his first League One trophy quite early than what he did in real life. You know what else he might win early? Maybe a Champions League. We are going to take on Bayern in the final. PSG have made it. Neymar somehow only managed the one Champions League trophy in his title. We'd have expected way more from him. So getting as many as possible in this competition is by far one of the biggest goals that we have. We've got to get through this very, very good, very solid Bayern side first. Arguably a prime Bayern side. Does Neymar have the goods? Ribéry, missed that one. Ribéry opens the goal scoring. Missing the slide tackle. Frank Ribéry was never going to miss his shot. And we're down in the UCL final. One nil down and needing a response. Oh, come on. We're trying it, even though we're one nil down. Hey, with Neymar, you have to do for the culture. Come on, right up the middle. Right up the middle. That is a huge chance, but takes the touch before shooting. Neymar is looking dangerous. Still going around. I've got Ibra in the middle. Ibra, that's a great ball in. Ibrahimovic! What a cross. What a header. Lovely play. And with about oh, eight minutes to go, we find him. He's thankfully onside. Only just great ball in by Neymar. Neuer is beaten. Maybe Bayern can be beaten. Ah, uh, no time to get in another counter-attack. It is 1-1 though. We're still in the hunt. Bayern's got themselves a free kick. This is sort of scorable. Not quite. Levetsi. Oh, look who's in the middle. Look who's in the middle. Oh, please, Neymar. No! It's unbelievable! What a stop from Neuer! Could have been the all-time greatest ever Champions League winning goal, but no. It could maybe still come, though. Maybe from... Oh, I love that delivery. Not quite. Lucas, down. Neymar, not through the bodies. This is it. Last chance. i got to put something in there. Hope for the best. 
Hope for the miracle. How fucking deep is that? Oh my god. In the last second, some players have it. Whoever that bold-headed prick is, he does not. And it's going to have to be penalties. How the hell do I even take penalties in FIFA 14? I can't remember. Oh, that's a bit of a delayed one. Oh, but a beaut nonetheless. Here comes Schweinsteiger left. Now Neymar. Missing penalties in Champions League finals. Could be career damaging. Does he? Oh my god. Oh my god. Not good. Mandzukic. Oh, not good. Lucas, please. Oh, the woodwork! This looks bad. Robin. Oh, this is really bad. Alex needs to smash this in. Otherwise, we could be over and done with. He keeps us in it. Any chance of a save? Sirigu. Oh, the middle. And that is it. That is it. I had a feeling. No! Neymar misses in a Champions League final penalty shootout. No career is without its low moments. Even Leo Messi missed a penalty in a final. But, oh... That hurts to see. That could have been Neymar. Instead, Neymar still is without a European Championship. And yeah, that hurts. His individual season stat numbers, you know, fairly good. 21 goals, 7 assists. Not as crazy as his first season at PSG. But you can't deny those are still pretty good numbers. We have already racked up like 50 more appearances, 20 more goals as well. We are just ever so slightly behind in the assist numbers. But, you know individually he's actually doing slightly better than he was at this point interest is being shown by arsenal have a look at that status that is very peculiar could we maybe see him move only after two years and maybe to the prem forgot to point out by the way that psg also won the coupe nationale and the coupe de league so that is actually a domestic treble. Neymar did that twice in real life with PSG. Now he's done it in his second season with them. But will he still be with them next season in FIFA 15? It's looking like Arsenal might be keen on it. Once again, I'm going to apply for another job, move clubs, we'll simulate the transfer window of the next season. Does he go to Arsenal or does he stick around at PSG? Or maybe someone else comes in for him. Let's have a look. He has! He's gone to Arsenal! Neymar is a Premier League player. He skirts Barcelona and ends up joining the Gunners while I'm pretty confident Arsene Wenger was still manager. Well, won't this be fascinating? Let's move over then to FIFA 15. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, now rocking the red of Arsenal in the Premier League. And look at the team he walks into. He's got Sanchez to his right, Mesut Ozil to his left. The rest of the team, uh, there's some nice players in there like Kazola. I remember Ramsey being pretty good around this time. Murder Saka, Koscielny. Neymar never stepped foot in the Premier League in his career, or at least find it very unlikely he will now. How does Neymar Jr. get on for Arsenal in England? Um, lads, I can't quite believe I'm saying this. Arsenal winning the Premier League. In Neymar's first season with three games to go, they are 12 points clear. It's unassailable. And it would appear that the signing of Neymar has led the Gunners to a Premier League title. The only thing left to do then, people, is to just jump in and celebrate our glory. I cannot believe that. Look, who'd have thought we'd ever seen Neymar go to the Gunners and that he'd win the league in his first season? It's quite incredible, but I told you with that front three, something special could happen. And it has. Here he is. Here he is. Neymar! <laughs> that is why Arsenal are league champions, I reckon. He's fitting in right at home at the Emirates Stadium with finishes like that. Amazing stuff there from Neymar. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. And I think the foot race, it might be won there by Neymar. And it is won by Neymar. He is absolutely cooking as a part of this team. Oh my god, oh, he, uh, he loves it here. Good load up. Got a little roulette. Oh, Trubella, that's the way to get the hat trick. It's a Gunners hat trick on the day that, well, to be fair, the league's already won. But on the day that I hope they lift up the trophy, another goal. That's almost better than the first. He sure has made the Emirates his new home. And well, that'll do it. There's nothing else you need to say. Neymar at Arsenal is pure class. And the season finishes with them on 85 points, winning the league by almost double digits. Neymar actually only made 30 appearances and only 22 
in the Premier League. He may have been injured at some point because he's been averaging like 50 games a season for quite a while. But yeah, now a little bit less. Still though, 20 goal contributions, 14 and 6. No Capital One Cup or slash Carabao Cup or FA Cup. So it is just the Premier League. And Neymar's real life career and recent career right now are very evenly balanced. We technically have one less title. And of course, in real life, Neymar did win the Champions League this season with Barcelona. It's a damn shame that we didn't get it done against Bayern. We would have been level. We move now to FIFA 16. Again, no need to simulate a transfer window. He only just got here. So straight away into FIFA 16, Neymar now has Giroud and Sanchez as the front three. I feel like this Arsenal team is maybe another year or two until they kind of fall off a little bit, but then they do come back if he stays the whole time. Hey, you never know. Back-to-back -back Premier League titles would be ideal. We're still in the Champions League, of course. What can we muster this season? Oof, and maybe painful to admit, maybe last season, semi-fluke because we've only come and finished fourth the following season. Still in the Champions League though. Not that we did anything this season, getting knocked out the round of 16 by Atletico. However, we do make an FA Cup final. No Carabao Cup trophy, but maybe still some silverware this season to be had. Taking on Chelsea at Wembley. This season isn't necessarily shaping up to be a better season than last, but as long as we can grab at least a piece of silverware each season, I'll be somewhat happy. Let's go get that FA Cup trophy. We did a resim. If you missed it with Edin Hazard, go back and watch it after this one as well. Hopefully, he won't be the hero today. Hopefully, it will be Neymar. Love that ball in there. Could have a go. Oh, what a go! Who on earth is that Aaron Ramsey? Well, he scored in FA Cup Finals before. Why not do it again? That's a beautiful, terrific way to get started by beating Courtois here. Get inside. Oh, my God. That'll work. That will work. Could it set up? Another one. It will! <laughs> the rainbow flick from Neymar Jr. It's just a shame he doesn't get credited with the assist. Oh, I love that. Rainbow flick to go right through the defender. And it sets up a lovely goal here from Giroud. Well, this final was going pretty damn good. Going a hell of a lot better than the Bayern Munich Champions League final anyway. Oh, oh, all right then. Willie Ann goes and gets him one back. Not going to be a perfect day out. Can Ozil find a man? That's way too close. Fucking Chelsea have dominated the possession in this half. Finally, we, we don't get it back. Oh my God. Come on, right-hand side. The game is running out. Surely we're close. Surely we're close. Great ball roll. Cross at the back stick. It's not going to be Neymar. It's not a good enough ball. Have not been able to put them away. Where the fuck are you going, Murdersacker? But I don't think it's going to matter. We get it done. We hold on just. Trophy number six for Neymar, and it was hard fought in the end. We have already lost one cup final recently. We weren't gonna do it another time. So Neymar will win his first FA Cup, his second trophy in England, and there we go. His first final at Wembley is a success. But, however, despite a pretty good, I would say, first season at Arsenal, uh, we have had an absolute off season this time around. Only six goals and three assists for the whole campaign, yes, again, we only played like 26 games and not the 40, 50 that we were playing at PSG. But what is going on with it? Is it injuries? Is it just for whatever reason he's not playing? I am not sure. We are a whole 30 goals and 30 assists off real life Neymar's stats, despite the fact we've actually played a couple more games. We got to start pulling our finger out, seriously. We're going to move clubs again. Will we see Neymar move in the next window? He does seem to be quite a fan of the two year stint at a club. I mean, does it happen again? And no, Neymar is still at Arsenal. He is staying for a bit longer. So remaining with the Gunners, off to FIFA 77. We are now dealing with a prime Neymar here, like 92 rated. Absolute baller. Giroud, Sanchez, yeah, still got Cazorla, Ozil, Ramsey. Pretty much everyone's like a little bit higher rated in FIFA 17. Also goes without saying this season, need to play more than just 20 odd games, getting a handful of goals and assists. We need a much better improved individual season from Neymar. So let's sim the season. Do we get that? It is another league title. Fantastic. Wow. The addition of Neymar has definitely done something to Arsenal to help its league form out. What the hell is Crystal Palace doing all the way up in second? Oh my God. How's this though? You've got both the 
FA Cup and the EFL Cup going to Spurs though. Champions League with Arsenal is not really what I would have hoped either. We keep getting knocked out of our group like almost all the time. But with a 93 overall, now for the important parts. Do we get those personal numbers going? Oh my goodness, we don't. We still don't. Um, look, happy for the team. Happy to be stacking on Premier League titles. But what is this, bro? 10 goals, 4 assists in 36 games. That is a ridiculously low return for a guy of his overall. Uh, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. That that needs to be higher. That needs to be better. Neymar in real life this season put up almost 30 assists. We put up four. That can't fly. It's got to be said, we have not really smashed it out the gates here. We're supposed to be the next best player in the world after Messi and Ronaldo, and we're not really having that level of career. We're having like a... We're having like a Riyad Mahrez level of career at the moment. Not that there's anything really wrong with that, but if you're Neymar, there kind of is. Anyway, new season. We've joined West Ham this time. Let's see another transfer window. Let's have a look. Do we see any movement this time? And no, Neymar is still sticking it out with Arsenal, despite the lackluster individual numbers. You still can't deny the titles are there. At least that's what the AI thinks anyway. Off we go to FIFA 18. No. Now this season, of course, in real life was the season that Neymar joined PSG. So that was a big moment in his career and it arguably didn't quite pan out the way he probably thought it would. Here though, however, we are still with Arsenal. He is up to a 92 and he is by far the best player overall in the team. With a prime Sanchez and Ozil alongside him as well. Let's see what exactly they can win together in the 2017-18 season. Well, a bit of a pretty horrific fall down the Premier League table, the very following season, we only get sixth place. No FA Cup or Carabao Cup to speak about. Wow, what a shocker. They got at least to the quarterfinals of the Champions League, which is respectable, but knocked out by Sevilla. So no silverware at all for Neymar in this recent this season. We do get, though, 18 goals and five assists. Again, that's, you know, not a bad season, but compared to IRL Neymar. He's only going to fall further and further back, especially with this move now to PSG. His goal contribution numbers are going to explode, and it's already not looking that great. There is a 50 goal difference at the moment between the real-life Neymar and the recent Neymar, and even worse than that, the assists are almost double and then there's the trophies too i mean it's actually a little concerning but simulating the next season's transfer window does he move and no neymar has remained at arsenal despite a bit of a hiccup of a season i wonder if some doubts are creeping into his mind i don't know but either way let's head to team 19. So so Arsenal not in the Champions League this season. They fall to Europa League. Neymar still quality at 92. Was last season just a blip or a sign of more to come for Neymar and Arsenal? Oh my goodness, it's horrible. It's even worse. It's now seventh place. Only 60 points and only 16 wins for a whole season. It is not happening anymore for Neymar at Arsenal, it seems. Everton. They won the Carabao Cup and no FA Cup either. Another quarterfinal exit in Europe as well, this time to the hands of Chelsea. And lads, it's another back-to-back -back trophyless season for Neymar. Goal contribution-wise, he always seems to get just a little above 20, uh, but never really exploding into anything more than, say, 30. 22 goals and 4 assists here. Again, you will take that if you're just Joe Schmo pretty somewhat decent Premier League player, but this is Neymar. He got another League One title in real life this season. So real life Neymar's at 13 trophies, Reese Neymar is at seven, and is way behind in the goal contributions. One's got to think Neymar has got to now surely be questioning his Arsenal position. Does Neymar make a transfer in the next transfer window? He does, he does make a move. He's off to Manchester City. Whoa! He's staying in the Premier League, but he's leaving London and he's going up north to Manchester. And he's not flying Emirates anymore, he's flying Etihad. Here we go to FIFA 20. Pep Guardiola never managed Neymar at Barcelona. They left about the same time as each other. But now, he gets to manage Neymar at Manchester City. And look at the team he's walking into here. You've got Aguero, Sterling, De Bruyne, David Silva still here as well. Fellow Brazilians in Fernandinho, Edison, oh, and also, of course, bloody Gabriel Jesus. Will this prove to be the right move for Neymar? Sticking it out in the Prem. Can he get success with Manchester City? Oh my 
God, I reckon it's probably been a good move. Look at the battle between City and Liverpool. Unbelievable. One game lost between the two. Man City have won the league and are on for an invincible plus Centurion season. Can you believe that shit? Liverpool are going to have to be Centurions and not win the league title. All Man City have to do is not lose the last game of the season to freaking Norwich and they will be bloody invincible. This will be for his first trophy in like two and a bit years. He's pretty well already got it. It's confirmed. Let's just go and put the ribbon on it. Neymar driving on past. Finish. Low hard off the woodwork. No breakthrough yet for either side. But again, I'm okay with a goal. I'm okay with a goal of draw. Neymar. Skillful. Oh, a little too much though for me. Cheeky tight pass. No good again. Gabriel Jesus. He's gone past one. Ball roll. Fucking someone score. Love that ball. Fucking miss. Oh my god. How the hell does this team get 107 points in the Prem? One last chance to win the game. It might not come. Oh, maybe still. Look, no matter what, we know that the game is sealed. We know that we're going invincible. That doesn't matter. We don't exactly seal it with a giant big victory over Norwich that Man City typically get. It's actually going goalless, but that is the result that secures our invincible status. It secures a Premier League title, another one for Neymar, and his status as an invincible. It is probably the one accolade that both Neymar, to be fair, and Man Manchester City don't have and now in this resim they've got it 38 games zero defeats 108 points absolute insanity we can also put an FA Cup into that as well no Carabao Cup and as for the goal contributions for Neymar it is again in that mid 20s a season he can't escape it it is 19 goals and seven assists again doing his bit but not more than Kevin De Bruyne is definitely not more than Sergio Aguero is he has 196 career goals so far the assist numbers again are way way off but that season, that bloody invincible season in the Premier League, that is a big, big plus over his real life career. Arsenal 2004, you have company. Of course, Neymar just moved to Man City. We're not going to bother with simming the transfer window. We'll keep him here for one more season, guaranteed. So let's move to FIFA 21. Sometimes I... So finally, we get some silverware again with Neymar. Much needed silverware. He's one away from getting to 10 trophies. A very minor decline in overall from 92 down to 91. Surely that won't affect things too much. Could we possibly see Manchester City go back to back in the Premier League? And will Neymar finally get more than 30 goal contributions in a season? Well, it isn't quite the insane Premier League season they had last season, but it is another title. That is a 10th trophy for Neymar. Once again, no Carabao Cup. However, in the FA Cup, we do indeed win it 2-1. So we've done exactly what we did last season. But even better than all that, we are on for a treble because we're in a Champions League final. Can we finally get Neymar his first Champions League title and match what he's done in real life? We have had to play catch up to the real life Neymar in this resim so far. Can we finally at least match his biggest accolade? Hugely important game in this man's career and it's off and underway. Up in the air, in the air, headed down. Is he on? Is he going to be on side? It's going to be tight. It's not. I had a feeling. Pressure. Pressure. Relentless pressure. Brilliant, brilliant. Whoa, come on, Sterling. Yes, it's got to be Aguero. Right through on goal. He's banged it home. The pressure was too much for Atletico. And we lead in this final. Oh, you love that from Sterling. And Aguero, he gets his goal. He might get his Champions League final after all. Oh, no. Oh no, Zinchenko has given a pen away right at the end of the half. Horrendous timing, not just for when would to give away a penalty, but just the timing of the challenge itself. Can Edison save us a bit here? No, no, we don't need him to save us. Suarez, unbelievable. It's still a lead for Man City going into halftime. The crossbar is there to help us keep our lead. Wow, Zinchenko, you're lucky. Nice moves here. Not too bad at all. Not finding an awful lot to cut back to here. Still going with Sterling. Cross back stick. If we can float one up. Lovely ball that! Aguero the header! It's a brace! 
for Sergio. It's surely a Champions League now. Just a little dink up over the top. And Aguero just heads home from in the six-yard box. Lovely finish. Lovely play. This has to be it surely now. The game looks to be over, but we're going to set up a run here late with Neymar. Running. That's a nice ball through, but it doesn't look like... I don't think he'll let the pace have a go. It's not going to get through. No matter. Would have been lovely to have topped off the final with a Neymar goal, but Old Black denies it. It won't matter, though, because the UCL title is won, and so too with it a treble. Wow, two things that we have been able to do with the resim Neymar that the real-life Neymar surely hasn't done. Go invincible in the Premier League and now win a treble in England. Yeah, you want a treble in Spain. We've ticked that off as well. We are starting to tick off a fair few of his accomplishments while adding in some pretty unique ones at the same time as well. The gold contributions may be lagging behind a little bit, but in terms of silverware, it's starting to look pretty impressive. Quality over quantity, we bag finally his Champions League title in 2021. And golly, look at the numbers that have come along with it. He didn't just escape the 30 goal contribution hell, he has blown out of it. 46 goals from 62 appearances. I think Pep Guardiola's got this man cooking. He now shoots all the way up to 242 goals. That's actually pretty damn close to real life Neymar. Assists, obviously, still you know, lacking in that department. But what a unbelievable season. That's his best season so far, and it comes at the age of 29. You think it would be insane for him to move now after these two seasons, but Simi next season's transfer window. And no, no, of course not. Of course he would stay. Let's move it now to FIFA 20. I just wanted some more, all of a twist. I think I didn't tell you. Some huge trophies in the last two years, and finally a big haul of goals and assists. Are we about to see Neymar Jr. prime here at Man City? If he continues his amazing goal scoring form and finally learns how to pass the ball and maybe get a couple of assists, I reckon the real life Neymar might be in danger. But we slide actually out of the top spot that we normally see Man City occupy. They only come in third place. No Premier League title this time. The hunt for a fourth Premier League title is still on. No Carabao Cup, FA Cup, no good there either. We actually came brutally close to making another Champions League final, but we lost on penalties to PSG. Shout out to Gabriel Jesus, who decided to take over the goal scoring today and only left Neymar Jr. with still a respectable 24 goals and seven assists. This version of Neymar, this recent version, He's more of a striker than a winger. He is just banging in goals. He's not passing the ball at all. Real life Neymar added another league gun title. Of course he did. So real life Neymar's up to 18 trophies. We're sitting on the 12. I think our 12 haul is slightly better than his real life 18. We're still in a great position to win another Champions League title as well. That is, you know, if he stays at Man City. Which, yeah, unsurprisingly he does despite going trophyless this season. Well, alright then people. FIFA 23. This season, of course, is the season that Man City would win the treble in real life, not just in the recent. Can we do it again? Neymar is no longer a 90 rated player. He's dropped down to an 89 and he's now got Erling Haaland that I'm sure is going to eat up the bulk of his goals now as well. What does having Erling Haaland in the team do for Neymar's own numbers or maybe even better than that, what does it do for his trophy cabinet? There we go. After a bit of a slip up, Man City are back in the Premier League winning column. He doesn't unfortunately have another FA Cup or Carabao Cup. However, he might add another champion League and go one better than his real life talent. Juventus and Man City will do it. This time it's not Inter and Man City. It's a shame they missed out on the FA Cup, Man City, because they almost would have been going for a treble again in the same season. But no matter, at least we make the Champions League final at all. Gotta be honest, Neymar was a little quiet in the last Champions League final. What does he have in store this time around? Hopefully something that can deliver another Champions League title. We're off and underway. Haaland maybe up over the top. We love that. Into the space. Just a down, a little dig. And Haaland's already on the board. He couldn't score in the Champions League final, but he gets it within five minutes. And who says Erling Haaland cannot score in finals? 11 goals in 13 games. I'm starting to think he was probably the man this season. Maybe not Neymar. Oh, that's a really good ball up over the top. High line. Blahovic, last man back. Laporte stops it. 
Gotta be Harlan again. Love that ball in! Harlan's on fire! It's a brace in the Champions League final. Just the first half alone. Juventus looked likely to grab one, but no. And how about that finish? We know he loves an aerial strike, but mate, surely he just head that ball. No, either way. Harlan will get his 12th goal of the campaign in the UCL right before halftime. That is a huge deflator for Juventus. Massive moment for us. Uh oh, calm down. Breakdown. Big breakdown. Massive breakdown. And Arcadius Milik scores. Pulling one back straight away. Cheeky one. Up over the top. Neymar, great control. Shot blocked. Falls back to Haaland. Oh my god, save. Look at the time. Not long left to go at all. They put everyone up. Love that ball up over the top. Neymar could seal the game. And he has with the game sealing goal. Neymar Jr. scores in a Champions League final. And that's how you wrap up a UCL. Haaland does the damage. But Neymar is the one that puts the knife in the Juventus heart. He finishes it beautifully. And there you go. Number two for him. Not quite the treble, but it is a Premier League and Champions League. I think we'll take that. Once a European champion, now twice a European champion. Now to answer the question, just how big a part did he play in this season? He was actually pretty solid. Fair play Neymar. He has 40 goal contributions this season, 30 goals and 10 assists coming from 55 games. But again, he's not the top goal scorer. No shock, that is Harlem. So, Reese Neymar now has more goals, just the one, than real life Neymar at this point in real life. Again, yes, he's played about 130 something more games. But either way, he is also finally over 100 assists as well. I think life at Man City is going way better for him than it did in Arsenal. Does he move from Man City this season in the next transfer window? No, no he doesn't. Why the hell would he? He's champions of the Champions league he ain't going anywhere he's staying at man city as we move to fc 24. so here we are then fc 24 the end of the road at least at the moment for neymar of course in real life this is the season he left psg he went to al uh, hilal i nearly said al nasar he ended up doing his knee and he's now currently going through a really really tough ACL recovery. Many believe he will struggle to come back from. So first up, let's sim to the end of this season, compare the real life stats, and then just sort of keep going. To be honest, I don't think Neymar would retire at the end of this season, according to this resim. After all, he's only 32 years of age and he's not slowing down anytime soon. Man City Shocker win the league again. They really haven't been able to convert any Carabao Cups into titles yet. And the FA Cup this season is also a bit of a letdown. However though, Neymar still standing on business despite his near pension age, compared to footballs anyway. He is 34 and seven, uh, what, 13 for the season. That's gotta be the biggest haul of assists he's ever had in one season before. So at the end of this season, here are the stats combined, okay? We have got real life Neymar with 498 appearances, 295 goals, and 190 assists. Free Sim Neymar has nearly 200 more appearances, right? 680 with 330 goals plus 117 assists. And if you compare the trophy haul as well, yes, real life Neymar has more. He's got 19, but Reesim Neymar currently on 15 and with a lot of Premier League and Champions League titles, I'd say that's a bit more impressive. Up to you to decide what career has been better so far, but hey, either way, let's keep pushing. We are gonna keep going with Neymar until eventually the guy just straight retires. Does he end up moving the following season? Nope, no, Neymar still stays at Manchester City. How does the 24-25 season go for Neymar? The Premier League remains a Farmers League with another Man City title. What a career move that was for Neymar. Oh, we nearly got a Carabao Cup, but denied by Liverpool. And in the FA Cup, we take down Brighton, so they're finally another FA Cup. No Champions League final for Man City this season, so we move to 17 trophies. Neymar slows down a little bit compared to last season but still a very good 27 and 9 that is huge 41 games from and only as well and he does drop down to an 86 he is now 33 we have now ticked over 300 
and 50 career goals for Neymar with 17 career trophies. I have a bad feeling that his overall could drop off quite a fair bit next season. We will see. But simulating ahead again, will he stay at Man City? Yes, he does. He has stayed probably here longer than any other club he's been at so far. He will be going for in this season his eighth Premier League title. That would have him among like some of the most won ever by a single player. Not quite gigs level, but pretty nuts nonetheless. Well, we might be seeing the end of not just Neymar's career, but also Man City's dominance. They come third for the first time in a long time Neymar doesn't pick up a Premier League title. He is stuck on seven, but he does get a Carabao Cup. Luton Town made it all the way to the final. Won't get an FA Cup. And despite not getting the Premier League title, God, wouldn't you believe it? It's another Champions League title, and it's a recap of the last one in real life, Inter versus Man City. Neymar, however, is injured for four weeks. He's been out for, I'm assuming, a little bit of time. He submitted a transfer request. He's dropped off by 82 overall. It's not looking good, and he won't play in the final. He has made specifically three appearances in the Champions League. I think that is enough to warrant him a medal. So if Man City do win the Champions League, it would count for him. Might not be the way you want to get one, but he has got one. And it's courtesy of two goals from Kevin De Bruyne in extra time. So he is a three-time Champions League winner. That one is maybe a bit more loose, but still it counts. And just like that, Neymar now has 19 trophies, just like he's got in real life, except with seven Premier League titles and three Champions Leagues. With that being said though, it is pretty obvious he's on the way out. Where does he go? Let's find out what club he moves to. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, at the end of the transfer window, he's still with Man City, which is odd because I thought he looked nailed on for a move. But no, he's 34 years old. He's still with Manchester City, 81 overall. I don't know how much game time he's going to be getting. And also in the last year of his contract, if he doesn't move on a transfer, then he's just going to walk and leave at the end of his contract. Well then, it's going to be one final season for Neymar in the Premier League, most likely. Will he wrap it up with an eighth Premier League title? He will do it with an eighth Premier League title. Unbelievable, Man City. They bounce back to get a huge win. Look at that. A 22-point gap to their rivals, Man United. That's crazy. They don't get the Carabao Cup, and they will win an FA Cup as well. But the drop-off is very apparent. Neymar down to a 77 now, and clearly not the player he once was. But he just played enough games, six, to get a Premier League medal, so it counts. It's only the one goal he scored all season long. He's leaving Man City. I don't know, bro. 35 years of age. It's getting tough for him. I don't know if he keeps going. If he does get picked up by another club, then good on him. But if he doesn't, hey, it's not a bad way to finish up the career. And I've just gone to look for Neymar, the free agent. It looks like he's retired. There are no players found by the name of Neymar. So that is the end of Neymar Jr.'s career. What a career then. Let's compare them. He ends with 755 appearances. Way more. Over 250 more than he managed in real life. 367 goals. 136 assists. And he also wins 21 trophies, including 8 Premier League titles. That is the third equal most Premier Leagues won ever by a single player tied with Gary Neville. He goes down a Premier League legend. He goes down a footballing legend. Who had the better career? Let me know in the comments. If you've enjoyed this one, be sure to like and subscribe. And of course, if there are any other footballers you want me to resim their careers all through FIFA, then let me know. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to watch this one as well. I'll catch you for the next one. See you later and bye-bye.